Hollywood casting's a crazy game, that's for sure. But hey, that's how we end up with the actors who play our favorite characters so well, to the point where it'd almost be impossible to imagine someone else in their shoes. You might have heard of famous stars almost ending up with a role, but this one is going to surprise you. In this video, we'll be telling you about the personality who almost played Agent Gibbs. First off, it's really not who you'd expect. Mark Harmon has definitely left an indelible mark on every fan of the show. Not gonna lie, he delivered that classic Leroy punch so well. Plus, once he left, it really felt like a huge loss, both for the fandom and the cast and crew. But let's take it back to before NCIS hit the screen. Yep, all the way back to 2002 or 2003. Back then, TV wasn't as huge as it is today, in the sense that it was seen secondary to cinema. But now, with streaming platforms galore, it's really boomed. This detail is important because the Hollywood A-lister close to the Gibbs throne is actually a renowned movie star. Think along the lines of the Old West. If that's not ringing any bells, maybe Indiana Jones well? That's right, folks. Harrison Ford himself was considered to play our favorite detective on TV. We know what you're thinking. How did Mark Harmon get the part when megastars like Ford were in line? Well, a lot of factors played into it. Ford actually gets into it in an interview with Jimmy Fallon, but one of them was definitely because of the reputation of television back in those days. It wasn't a lucrative job, and like we said, it was seen as a step down from movies. Of course, this isn't the case at all. It's more apt to describe it as a step across from cinema, so it really isn't surprising to know that Harrison walked away from the gig. He himself wanted to go for it, but decided against it. So let's look at Ford's reasons. At the time, he was in a bit of a rough spot. Believe it or not, even Harrison Ford goes through creative slumps. It happens to the best of us. Anyway, because of that, he was finding it hard to secure roles in films. As a leading man, it was getting to him. His friends and managers were a little worried about him. That's why his manager thought that getting a steady primetime role would really work out for him. It's consistent, it gets you some exposure. Our man really needed a burst of motivation. So something to look forward to. If you sit down and imagine it, the action star would have brought a whole lot of new angles to Gibbs as a character. Don't get us wrong, Harmon is the perfect fit, but it's just a matter of what could have been, you know? It went to the point where everyone was pushing him to take the job. Collider reveals that the actor was actually very high on the list, and the showrunners really wanted him on. But in the end, Ford put his foot down and declined. It's speculated that he might have been a little hesitant about playing TV roles. After all, he's a well-known movie star, and he probably wanted to stick to what he knew. Plus, he was a bit down so we get it. Sometimes you gotta wait to get back on your feet. Well, this might change now because of how reputable the industry has become. Also, the delightful Easter egg about him in NCIS. There's so many layers to this, you guys. The writers and producers slid in a cheeky reference to this piece of trivia, and no one knew it till recently. On the X-ray feature on Amazon Prime Video, the producers reveal that the name drop was intentional in the very first episode. It goes like this. Harmon mentions Ford in context of his movie Air Force One. Specifically, he refers to a secret service agent who was also a turncoat in the movie. On top of it all, his name was also Agent Gibbs. Who would have thought? It doesn't just stop there. Don Belisario, the creator of the show, aptly titled the pilot Yankee White. For those who don't know, that's a common code name for those who work on board Air Force One. Imagine if we had gotten some Star Wars references. It all makes a whole lot of sense now that we know of Ford's history with NCIS. All's well that ends well. This decision turned out in Harrison's favor because his career started surging again. Roles like like the lead in The Call of the Wild and Rick Deckard in Blade Runner 2049. What's more is, an untitled Indiana Jones project is in the works this year, and he's definitely up for it. And now, Belisario's thoughts on Harmon before casting him. While all this was going down, we can't forget what our boy was going through. The process of casting is a tough one, and when you're the one auditioning, the nerves are rocket high. Even if you do great, there's always a chance the higher-ups find someone different or better. Belisario actually revealed in an interview with Entertainment Weekly that he did didn't think Harmon was that good of a fit. He bared it all, saying that he found him to be too much of a pretty boy. While they have their perks, it's a little hard for them to play gritty roles convincingly. But he stuck with it, and Mark had very much proved himself to the network and won over Don too. And now look where we are. If there's one thing about Leroy, he's got grit for days. It's the perfect blend of comic relief and seriousness, and we couldn't imagine anyone else achieving it. Still, it makes for a really cool storyline to tell your buddies next time you binge watch NCIS on a night off. And now, for some other NCIS news you might have missed out on. Firstly, Ducky's coming back in season 20. September's closer than ever, and we're in for a whole lot of treats. The crossover event with NCIS Hawaii, and now our favorite doctor on board again? We'll pinch you. It's not a dream. This is amazing for all the OGs out there. Brian Dietzen broke the news, actually, and he did it in true celeb fashion, which is obviously a post on Instagram. The star posted a lovely picture of him and David McCollum, and the two were having lunch together in between takes. You know, as TV 
stars do, all in a day being an actor. By the looks of it, everyone's rushing to complete filming in time for the release. Thankfully, our boys still have the time to sit down and enjoy a meal. They're having tons of fun in the meantime. Brian captioned the picture, saying you've got to get yourself a friend, a diner, and a tuna melt. Amen to that. It really is the simple things in life. Even better when you've got Ducky to share your sandwich with. Plus, the two are in costume, so we can confirm that they'll have scenes together. Seeing Dr. Jimmy and Ducky interact is going to be a blast. Next up, we finally have an update on Hetty. NCIS LA is pretty much well known for keeping us on our toes, and it's been like this for a while in regards to Hetty. Linda Hunt has piqued everyone's interest since her last appearance in season 13. The producer, Scott Jemil, has been teasing her return for a while, but he's only recently provided an update on what they're doing with her character. Well, at least now we know. Basically, the plan is to have her return in time for Callan and Anna's wedding. Callan realizes he has unfinished business and that he wants her to be present for the big event. It's definitely not too late to mend things. Jemil claims that they will have to save her at some point. She's in a bit of a tough spot because they left her off in Syria. Plus, they had a lot of restrictions last year because of COVID-19, so they're hoping it won't be as bad this time. If everything goes smoothly and without hiccups, it'll happen. Lastly, Gary Cole's possible first credits in Season 20. While we wait just a little bit longer, fans have been cooking up theories on the subreddit. What better place to share ideas and talk about predictions and Easter eggs, right? Well, a Reddit user recently speculated that we might see Cole's name first in the creds this time. It's usually a sign of who leads the show, the binding glue. It's a tie between him and Sean Murray, because both of them play pretty central characters. Mind you, they're very different from each other, but that's what makes it all the more amazing to watch. A lot of users agree that it's going to be Gary. To them, it makes sense because he had to step up as Parker after Harmon left, and those were huge shoes to fill. Of course, he did a great job, and the show didn't skip a beat. While at first it seemed as if the show was going to eventually fade away, Harmon's departure didn't affect the ratings at all, and NCIS is bigger than ever. Well, that's all for this video. What are your thoughts on Harrison Ford almost being cast as Agent Gibbs? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.